Hello, my dear ones. I am right now moving on our employee's favorite device from the SIP scooter shop. Therefore, it is very strong in use. This is the Step ER2 from GoMate. And why everyone thinks it's so cool? We'll find out now together. The GoMate ER2. Why is it so much fun? Mainly because it's simply structured differently than almost every other e-scooter. It has a so-called flex board that is in here. It's kind of like a skateboard deck. And due to that, we get that special street surf feeling. We're going to try it out a bit later. Basically, the thing is completely made in Germany. It has been developed in Germany, even produced and assembled in Germany. And it consists of many flat components. And we'll look at them now. Special number one are the tire and the wheels. No other e-scooter which is road approved in 2020 has different sized tires. We have relatively large ones installed here. In the front we have a 16 inch spoked wheel with the swallow big apple which is mounted by default. On the rear wheel we have a 12 inch tire and that of course has huge advantages. On the one hand it basically doesn't need by combining the board and the tires an additional suspension and second, it gets of course much, much better over any obstacle like stones or curbs. A 10 inch tire, probably made of solid rubber, would have problems with that. So that's really a mega feature, and it's surely one of the great advantages that you have with the GoMate Step ER1 and ER2. The GoMate is powered by a 250 watt brushless engine that replaced the original Baofeng engine some time ago, even if it had great acceleration, but it didn't achieve the final speed. So, with this plus variant, we now have the opportunity to cover both a German version with up to 20 kmh and also an international version at 25 kmh. In Germany, we are a little more restricted. Centrally positioned, we have the battery here, 10.5 amps hours of charging time, which approximately manages about 3.5 hours and 35 kilometers. Cool feature, it's secured with a lock, two keys are included in the scope of delivery. Just unlock, take it out, done. Here you can see the charge level, and then it also has a USB plug that can also be used as a power bank. Cool gadget. Okay, we don't need that fiddle. Gotcha. Equipped is the GoMate with fully hydraulic braking systems, textural brakes in the front and rear with a 140mm disc, tip-top delay, so really first-class brake quality. Another point that we really like about the product is, it's damn light. 13.2 kilos, there's actually almost nothing on the market that is as light. It's a bit bigger due to the size of the ties, but the weight is unbeatable. Let me put it down, and then, let's take a look at the display. Simple display. In the middle here is the control unit. There ain't that many buttons that you could push. Here, you can see the different assistance levels, and otherwise we have everything your heart desires. That means, for example, here's the speedometer. This right here is very interesting. There you can see what power the engine creates. And of course you can see that it creates more than the 250 watts that it was rated. We have a daily odometer and at the same time we also have a temperature display. We now read Fahrenheit. That's why it's 66 degrees right now. These indicators are not included in the scope of delivery. We just mounted them and they're actually a really cool feature. So you don't always have to drive single-handedly. These are so-called wing lights and they only cost peanuts. They're just screwed into the handlebar. It's like one minute of work. They work with a battery and it actually lasts a whole season and is good visible. Very cool feature. Furthermore, Gormit interestingly is the only one we know who doesn't deliver the lights. Gormit recommends this set from Trello. It costs about 49 euros and fits exactly in the bracket of Gormit. At least at the back. In the front everything is normal anyway. It will be attached on the license plate holder, and the license plate holder is included in the scope of delivery, because there your insurance number needs to be on it. This is the number one fun factor. 
It's the board, which is glued multiple times and that gives it street surfer feeling. It bends properly, so even in the corners you have a very stylish and agile ride. It really is a lot of fun. Another special feature of the GoMate is this handlebar. I still know that type from Cannondale Lefty and that is definitely something very special. It looks spectacular, of course you'll have a different driving behavior. That means it's definitely a bit softer than it usually is with an e-scooter and gives in slightly when braking. That you have to know, that's its geometry. To the folding mechanism. Step ER1, foldable once. Step ER2, foldable twice. Step ER3, foldable three times. It will be available in some time. Okay. Folding mechanism number one is up here on the handlebar. It works in a similar way to that of a folding bike. There's one locking sleeve made of plastic that you have to pull up here. Then loose the lever and then you can fold down the handlebars here. Step ER2. That is quite the story, we're not really excited about it. The mechanism is down here at the connection of the steering tube to the running board. You can loosen it here. There is also an additional security mechanism, except that it gets stuck when you stand on it. So, and now I have to bend the whole wheel and the scooter. Und den Roller einklicken. What the fuck is this? Also das Ding so, the thing like wiggles around here as we say bar here. It cannot be locked. To take it with you in the car, it's a pretty cool feature because it just gets a bit smaller, but it could have been solved better in our opinion. When I fold the whole thing up now, it'll work the other way around. Since this cabin in here is a little longer, so you're even able to fold it. You have to be careful not to pinch that if you lock them. That means push it a bit with one hand and now it's locked again. Of course, that also has the consequence that this mechanism at this very sensitive point has the effect that I get some space here. And I noticed that for example while braking. We can still adjust that a little bit, but it's not completely gone. It means for someone who needs the space in the car, who needs the whole thing just a bit smaller, this is just fine. But it's not absolutely necessary if you manage to stuff the thing inside without falling. Then you're well served with the ER1. Our conclusion on the GoMate step, awesome product, great street surfer feeling, that is otherwise not available on the market, very light at 13.2 kilos, great features, made in Germany, overall managed well. So many innovative features of course have its price, between 1700 and 1800 you have to pay, but due to its processing the GoMate is worth every single dime. The second folding mechanism is a bit of a downside, think about it, if you really need it or if you are fine without it. It could save you 100 euros. In the info card above you can find your way to the shop and the product. There you can take a closer look at the pictures and technical data, basically everything your heart desires. Otherwise we would appreciate it if you follow our channel and leave a like. Leave your comments down below and then see you next time.